Yeah, it's probably quite a sight, and we're looking yeah. at some good weather this year for that. So anyone who's planning on heading out to any of the events, not only will it be nice in the evening, but also later in the nighttime for those fires, especially today. Here's a look at what we saw yesterday. We got up to 85 in Eugene. That's still six degrees above average for this time of year. Nowhere near the record, though, of 98 degrees. Across the rest of the area, we made it into the 80s inland, 81 in both Roseburg and Corvallis. 86, though, in Bend and out along the coast. Temperatures were in those 50s, not 81 degrees there in Newport. You got up to 60 uh, degrees as we saw yesterday afternoon. Here's a look at your currents this morning along the coast. You're waking up in those upper 50s and low 60s along I-5, mid to upper 50s in Central Oregon, also in those mid 50s at this hour. We aren't really tracking anything across the area this morning. No thunderstorms like we saw yesterday morning, but we are looking at a lot of clouds out there. So we'll see clouds this morning as we head into this afternoon, though. We'll see that sunshine return as high pressure is still in full control of our weather. It's keeping this storm up in the Gulf of Alaska. It's going to also keep the storm that's further off to the west tracking into western Canada. So high pressure remains in control. That'll keep our weather fairly quiet for today and also through the weekend and even into next week. So looking at not really much of a change in our forecast over the next couple of days aside from some temperatures that will be on the climb once we get into t uh, next week. Here's a look at stormcast over the next 24 hours. You can see we do have those clouds out there. Yes, there's a few light showers or just some moisture out there over the ocean. That's why we'll have a chance for drizzle along the coast this morning. As you put things into motion, you can see a few areas of trying to show some drizzle there. Most is not really making it to the ground. Won't be anything impressive. We'll begin to lose those clouds as we head into the afternoon, but then some high cirrus clouds will filter on into the area later today. So not going to completely lose the clouds, but once again, more of the cloud cover will be this morning. And then again, those clouds will move in once we get into tonight with that onshore flow off over the ocean. Temperatures in those mid 60s later today, still nice along the coast. More clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon. The Umqua Basin cooling things off a little bit from what we saw yesterday will be in those low 80s. For those in the Cascades, expect temperatures over those passes, low 70s, mid 70s though in the foothills, keeping it very sunny out there today. Same for Central Oregon, though it'll be slightly cooler than what you saw yesterday, getting into those mid 80s. And for the Willamette Valley, high temperatures will be in those upper 70s, near 80 degrees. So again, cooling things off from what we saw yesterday and much cooler than what we saw on a Tuesday. But as we head into this weekend, temperatures will begin to climb. You can see here with the seven day forecast along the coast, 4th of July, mid 60s. Clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, and we climb into those upper 60s near 70 degrees Sunday and Monday. The Umqua Basin, you'll also climb this weekend into the upper 80s, even back to 90 degrees on Sunday, even low 90s Monday and Tuesday, still keeping it very sunny out there. The Cascades, you're looking at those low 70s today, keeping it sunny for the 4th of July still in those mid 70s, and staying in those low to mid 70s through the weekend and even into next week. So if you plan on doing any camping this weekend, it will be a great weekend for that, but still remember it's very dry out there. Make sure you are prepared. You might not be able to have a campfire. For the Willamette Valley, keeping it sunny today. Temperatures climbing into the upper 70s, near 80 degrees. As we move into tomorrow for the 4th of July, parades in the morning should be great. Temperatures will be into the 60s, mid 60s as well. By the time you might head out to a barbecue, you're looking at those low 80s. But by the time fireworks begin, temperatures will begin to cool down. We'll be back near 70 degrees, mid 60s as well for all of those shows. And for the rest of the holiday weekend, still looking at some nice temperatures, low 80s and overnight lows into those 50s, keeping it sunny into next week. And our temperatures, too, begin to climb into those mid-80s Monday and Tuesday, mm. Bob. So you're going to be here tomorrow, right? Yes. I'm going to be here tomorrow. Yes. But in the afternoon, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. It should right? be nice, and yeah. Tomorrow night fireworks and all that. should be nice. Okay, thanks, Marissa. Okay.